Diddy. Ow. Ah, what a beautiful day out. Hello, world. <clears throat> I'm trapped in this kitchen. Hi, cat. Cat, you want to see something crazy? Look at my face. I was talking to Brittany on live or on like um, Facetime yesterday, and she was like, "Oh, is that is that a spinal cord coming out of your forehead?" But no, it's a rhino stump. It's so crazy. I think it's because, <clears throat> to be honest, it's probably because I've been eating like garbage as I always do. But no, I think it might be getting worse because of the wedding. I feel like maybe it's stress. I don't know. But I just feel like I've been breaking out like crazy, like big here and big here. And like, I'm like, oh my God, look, still here, like from my glasses. Ah, <sighs> God, I'm winded too. <clears throat> Okay, well, today, leave that closet open, and we'll get that later. Ew, oh my god, I don't even want to have this on my face. It looks so bad. Let's, can I like just, maybe we could just, maybe we could just focus on this candle and not on my face like this. <sighs> Zit sticks from Very Shop. Oh, Zit stickers. Okay, I will look for those. Thank you. <clears throat> I'll just go. I'll just do the whole show with this. All right. Uh, okay. Today, Cat. Also, get excited because this is a really good show. We've got so many candles to go through. Um, it's Candle Mania, and they're all beautiful and really, really good values. So. <clears throat> God, sorry, I'm a little also congested and a little bit, um, uh, like, flemmy or whatever. But, so, I'm going to go through all these Lore de Seraphine ones. They're, first, they're, like, really, really um, impressive looking and beautiful. You can see I have this one here. Um, I just came downstairs from a shower, and I was like, oh, my God, wow, it smells so good in here. I was like, oh, right. I lit that candle just, like, half an hour ago. <clears throat> Maybe a little longer, but anyway, it already fragranced the whole this whole like living room area so nicely. And then they also come with these nice lids, which I love. But I don't want to blow the candle out, so I'm gonna leave it off for now. Um, but they're just beautiful, and they smell so great, and they're like a really good value, forty four dollars. And then they're down to thirty. But this is for the that's for the large size, which is like a big candle. Um, let me just get the packaging is, I've got so many, I want to go through them one by one, looks like this, <clears throat> God, so many things happening, you know, it's like wedding prep stuff, and I mean, that alone is like a million items. that they really do transform a space. They just make it so much more relaxing. It gives you a whole spa vibe. Um, and it just sort of like elevates everything. Um, um, <clears throat> oh, and then the same thing in French. Doesn't it almost feel like fancy? It's so kind of like Eurocentric and messed up, but it's kind of funny when something is also in French it feels very, uh, like, premium to me. Um, but <clears throat> I just want to open up one thing right here. Sorry. Okay, so this one is the Whitby 
And these all come in ceramic jars with these beautiful patterns on them. And you can see if you go to this product page, I'm going to go through them one by one, but um, you can see there's all different fragrances and each one has its own unique like art on the ceramic jar and then like a, a complimentary lid that goes together with it. And they come in packaging like this. So it feels very, I mean, aside from it just being like beautiful, smelling really nice, high quality candle, coming with like a beautiful pattern on it. They come in really nice packaging that looks like this with like gold foil. And this just feels super premium. Um, they're like, this is more giftable than any other candle I've ever experienced. Um, it opens up really nicely like this. The ceramic lid is resting in here on a little um, cardboard insert. And then this is, is protected in another little cardboard insert in there. So it's not gonna break on its way to you or if you're maybe shipping it or giving it as a gift. So <clears throat> this one is Sea Salt and Violet number seven. Uh, it is the smell of sea salt carried by gusty winds and a view of crashing waves for miles creates an instant sense of calm infused with essential oils featuring notes of sea salt, violets, vetiver, Number seven is soothing, uplifting, and full of joy. That is a totally accurate description. Sometimes candle descriptions are not accurate and don't really line up. And uh, we'll see if any of those, um, I mean, there might be other fragrances that aren't exactly accurate, but that is so true for this one. It smells like, just like cool and clean and like, I don't know what I imagine, like like a really like nice Nantucket, like a little house to smell like. Um, it's a little bit clean soap-ish in a good way. And then definitely like smells like fresh and sort of like blue, like you could, you know, the color blue. Um, so this artwork is also like perfect for that. So let's see, that one is lit. And then I just want to tell you some information. So for the large, which is this size, um, this is 80 hours of burn time. Um, Alexa, what's 80 divided by 24? I guess that's going to be like three and a half. What's 80 divided by 24? Oh my God. What's 80 divided by 24? 80 divided by 24. Why is it so difficult? Okay, yeah. So, oopsie. Yeah, okay, I was right, like three and a half. Yeah, nothing works. The Alexa thing doesn't work, the watch doesn't work, like come on. Anyway, three and a half days. That's literally crazy. You could just like light this and leave it burning for three. App is like not working right. I'm getting lots of scrolling pinwheel things. Oopsie, and I just added something to my cart, which I didn't mean to do, but. Um, size um, and this is one of those I think there's only medium left in this one so this is the medium you could see here um, this pattern's cute it's got figs all over it and I love this the fragrance of fig there's a Brooklyn candle studio candle that I'm going to show you also that's Santorini and that one smells like fig also and I to be honest I might like that one a little bit more but they're both figgy and it's really nice let's see what it says on here um, it's one of those like Mediterranean themed candles. Um, 
let's see, fig leaf, cedar wood, fig sap, warm yet fresh. Yeah, it smells like what you'd expect from a fig, you know, one of those fig forward candles, which I love. Fig is one of my favorites. And the Santorini is my favorite from Brooklyn Candle Studio. But look how cute. Comes with this lid. Okay, dishwasher's turning off loudly. Um, this is like what's on my forehead right now. Uh, so that's the medium size. 45 hours on this on the medium size. And then let's see, we've got one more medium size one here, Varanasi. And it's like this sort of pattern. So let me scroll through. Let's see, we presented that one. Is that, is this that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, thoughts on what, what you would do with the pretty containers once the candle is done? Yeah, that's a great point. That, I feel like that's what makes these so giftable is like they just come in a beautiful container. Um, but what do you do with it when you're done? Um, I think these are perfect for the bathroom. They're beautiful. You could put Q-tips in here and then you have a little lidded jar. Because, you know, once the candle bur burns down, you could easily like boil this, wipe out any of the re remaining wax, or I think a dishwasher, and you'll have a really nice little ceramic jar. Um, and they're like, they, they're, they're ah! Oh my God, I must just drop the lid and broke it. Um, but I feel like they're really, they're just really nice looking. So I'm, yeah, you are gonna wanna keep these. Let's see, I would probably, but for the smaller size, you could throw Q-tips in here or even cotton, you know, the cotton balls or like the little flat cylinders. You could put those in here too. Um, and then these bigger ones, honestly, these are so big. You could put like, oh my God, you could put what my friend Kat, smoked oud which is super expensive um herbal greens leather dusted florals and have it in like a little container like that so cute i love the san marzano thing but this is a nice ceramic jar so it's like a little upgrade um oh my god it just looks so terrible alexa dining room lights on anyway uh okay so this one's really nice it's definitely a little more like wooded and um warm and cozy so that's the varanasi and then let's see what else do we have here this one hi encore say hi to cat <clears throat> um, this one's another large. What? Oh yeah, of course. Commenting on how fragrant it is in here, just from this one candle. I only have one of them burning, but look how big it is. It's really powerful, and just with one wick too. Um, okay, this one is the Mansour Marrakech Citrus Green Tea and Ginger. Let's see. Like every time you open one of these, it's like a little event because like this thing pops open, the lid is supported up here. Oh, this one's really nice actually. My big nose in there. Mmm, yeah, very orangey, gingery. Really like, yeah, it smells like a really nice tea. And you can see there's all these botanicals on it. I mean, what a beautiful jar. 
like a housewarming gift or something. This is so perfect. And I love the little contrasting lids that they all come with. These are, I mean, and for $37, such a good value. Also, hot tip. Um, if you ever need to get decongested really fast, this Afrin spray um, is great. That burns a little bit. Um, no, it's just, it's kind of like menthol-y. But <sighs> I'm going to be able to smell so much better now. Um, I guess I can still I have the sense of the sense of smell, but it's just not helping. Okay, next one is uh, Maya. Look at this beautiful color. Nice, like lime green. Mmm, this is like lemon verbena. -y. Um, grapefruit and coriander. Grapefruit, Lily of the Valley, Coriander. Yeah, this one's... Oh my God, so many options here, but seriously, I don't know. And plus, these are also, I don't know if you, I'm not sure if it's gonna stack or not, the deals, but there's there's another sale happening right now on Berry Shop. So you might be able to put in, I know that this the discount code works for these candles. It's like fall feels or something. It's right on the headline when you log on, log on to the website. So look there for it, it's another 15% off. And I think that might stack with the additional 15% off that you're getting here during the live stream. Oh my God, this smells so good. It smells like floral soap that like my Grammy had. Oh my God. Or yeah, she's still alive, but you know, she had it when I was younger. So this is orchid, lily, and moss. And you're definitely getting like a little bit grassy, but mostly floral and like light, but not powdery, not too perfumey. More, more floral clean soap than powdery perfumey. And look how cute. There's like all these little vines on this little plaid thing. I mean, how stylish. Kat, I feel like this reminds me of you or Amy, this pattern. I feel like I could see you guys having this um, in your apartments. Oh, wait. Oopsie. That was the wrong one. Sorry. Um, I was presenting the Ivy, which is uh, here. Okay, present to audience. That's the Ivy, but now let's go back and let's present again the one that I'm meant to be showing. This one is the Ava. Okay, sounds... Sounds expensive, exotic, sexy, beautiful color. Oopsie, okay, present to audience, present, present, there we go. Mm. It smells like lemon water. It's like <clears throat> a little bit mild. Okay, so there's cassis, Asian pear, panjori, lychee, Sparkling, uplifting, and full of joy. Yeah, I'm getting the lychee for sure. That like fruity floral thing of lychee. The Asian pear also. Um, so this is like definitely less perfumey and a little more fruit forward, but not overly sweet. It's still nicely balanced. And look at this little like snakeskin pattern on here. So cute. I love that. Just another beautiful jar, beautiful after beautiful jar. Tuck that back in there. And then let's see, what do we have left? I think, okay, there's only, God, there's three more of these, my God. Um, okay, there's this one. Let's see. I 
And don't worry, um, I'm saving my favorite one for last, of course. These boxes are really piling up. But I'll be able to put them all back together because they all the back the boxes match the little jar. Okay, this is Aurora, almond, and orchid. Okay, so a lot of the other ones were more like. Um, Light, light gray and, and white. <laughs> this is really nice. Reminds me of like something my aunts would have. Cool ants. Uh, it's definitely nice, but it's a little on the creamier side. So if you like, if you like creamy, I mean, most people do. There are tons of creamy candles. Lots of people love, love that. So if you like a creamier fragrance, that's perfect. Oh, excuse me, it's all right. Um, and these, again, these are all the large size, so there are 37, 40, and I just feel like such a good value. We might have to skip the Brooklyn Candle Studio ones and do this at a time because um, <clears throat> I've done some of those ones before, and I and I don't know if we have time for those today. But okay, this is a Cynthia Rowley um, like collection uh, or like collaboration candle, Caspa. Lock the It's a song, right? And this is really. Hang on. Okay, it's clean and a little spicy and woodsy, but it's more. It's more like spices and herbs than it is wood. It's not as deep. It's more spices and herbs, but still spices and herbs, but like clean, a little bit so beer. Yeah, there's nice like top notes and then there's like, there's the nice sultry sort of base notes coming through. So you're getting hit with like high and low at the same time. Sage and cedar wood, eucalyptus and patchouli. So, oh, okay, yeah, it says right here, sophisticated and grounding. It's definitely, yeah, it's got like the like thing that hits you up here, and then it's also sort of like grounding. And look how cute this jar is. I love the purple and the orange. Orangey red. Such a cute jar, such a nice little collaboration thing that they did with Cynthia Rowley. So if you're a fan of hers, you can pick that up. This one, I guess, was like, it's a special edition. It's a little bit more expensive. This one is uh, normally 48, but then with the discount, it's only 4080. And again, add the other coupon, and it's um, I think they, they may stack. <clears throat> okay, and then my favorite one from this company, for a couple reasons, the jar is so beautiful. It's so good looking, and it's the same price as all the other ones. I need my coins. Yeah, I feel like I'm not doing a great job with these scent descriptions, Cap, but um, but I appreciate that. I do. So, okay, first of all, look at this jar. It has gold foil in here, which is like super expensive to do. So I'm very um, surprised that they did that. But I, I just love that they have these little jaguars <clears throat> prowling about, roaming the rainforest with all of this, like these beautiful botanicals on here. And then, and then there's even like a gold rim up here this one just feels so expensive like this feels like a, a easily like a hundred over a hundred dollar candle
back. You're getting like the clean ocean soapy thing. And then, and that's sort of in the background. And then you're getting lots of like cedar. Yeah, lots of cedar and, and wood. Wow, so nice. Um, I have a friend that this reminds me of and uh, I owe them a housewarming gift and I, this is gonna be perfect, they're gonna love that. <clears throat> okay, let's see, what else do we have in here? Okay, let's look at this Neroli candle. Let me take this out for a second. So I have this candle burning over here. Um, so this is from Brooklyn Candle Studio. They have three fragrances that come in this nice black jar. This one is the most balanced of all of them that I've smelled. It um, smells kind of just like hot guy, which is why I wanted, I started burning it. I, I was like, I need this fragrance right now. It smells like, God, how do you describe it? It smells, it, smells like, it smells like a surfer dude. It smells like surfer dude, not overly deodoranty or soapy, but um, it's funny because it has the name Neroli, but it's not like very orange. Neroli is like uh, orange blossom, I think, but it's not, it's not very orangey. There's a little bit of that, but it's more like there's a little bit of musk and... Um, and like an ocean, oceanic vibe to it. It's, yeah, it just smells like a hot surfer, basically. Um, so I love that one. And then let's come over here. We have some of these others. Okay. So in the uh, the black ceramic collection, we've got Hinoki, Neroli, and Santal. Hinoki. Hang on, I'm going to bring these over here, actually. So they come in this kind of packaging, it opens up like this. Um, you'll see the other ones, the clear glass jars from Brooklyn Candle Studio. They open just like a lift off thing, like a gift box type thing. They're both totally giftable. They're both like totally beautiful and appropriate, really nice packaging. Okay, so this one's a little more wet um, and clean versus the Neroli. This is like clean, wet, um, Let's see, how do they describe it? <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. I don't know if they have descriptions on here, which is so weird. Yeah, I don't think they have descriptions on here, but um, I'm getting a little bit of tree bark botanical thing. So the Santal, which makes sense, right? The Santal is like like the sort of like smoky, woody one, um, but not. I don't know. It's not piney. It's more smoky.
Johnson's here from Fragrances from Brooklyn Candle Studio. Um, they have this like simple lift off style box. And then these are actually a double wick, which I think is nice. It feels like just extra expensive and sophisticated to have two wicks on there. Don't forget to trim your wicks. You can see some texture happening on the top. It's just because they're very heavily fragranced, which is nice. I think these ones are a little more potent than the, the black ones. Um, those black ones are nice, but they're just, they're a little bit more nuanced. And then these ones have say clearly what's in them. So the Santa Fe, this is super Christmassy. Um, it's a little bit season specific. I would probably only burn this one around the holidays, unless you really want like a woodsy vibe in the summer, but it's definitely, um, it's definitely like, it's a crisp Christmas tree. It's not too deep. It's like you're getting that fresh, fresh pine smell. You know, you bring your Christmas tree home and it's like, it's like that fresh, bright pine smell. That's that. Exactly that. Okay. Then on the opposite end of the spectrum, we have Maui, which let me find the Maui to present. Where is that? Here we go. Oh no, this one's sold out. Okay, I'm sorry. Ignore that one. But the Maui, super, super wet, super botanical, very, very rainforest, wet summer rainforest, season specific. Only burn that in the summer for sure. It's very, very summery, very like rainforest, ocean, um, not even ocean actually, really just rainforest, very like wet and botanical. Then let's go to the Brooklyn escapist you guys you don't want to be looking at me today because i've got a tree stump coming out of my forehead so i'm sorry um okay so this is the brooklyn this one is the most this one's the most perfumey it's a little bit creamy it's definitely powdery um it's got orange blossom, neroli, leather, leather, because he's patchouli, wild sage. It smells like a really expensive house, just like a very fancy house. And it's definitely a more mature scent. Um, it's a little bit powdery, a little perfumey. I like it a lot. It smells really rich. It smells the most domestic. It doesn't have like a any distinct, like this is clearly Christmas tree. This is clearly like rainforest. This one's. an overdose of fig and it's really wet and it's nicely balanced with the other notes in here the currant and the sandalwood you're just getting a little bit of that mostly it's the fig but it's really like pronounced and i burn this in the guest's bathroom because it's just very powerful and distinct and you go into the bathroom and you're like you're like oh wow it smells like fresh and clean and like a little bit wet in here but like very botanical in this you know in the fig sense and scents, fig scents, um, pun intended. That one's my absolute favorite. I have ordered that one so many times, so I highly recommend getting uh, that that guy. Um, oh, and then, okay, the last one. This one is teak. Um, so it comes with this beautiful onyx white, I think it's white onyx, this lid it's real stone which is so cool it doesn't come in a box so that's one thing to note it comes um just like bubble wrapped uh but it smells like orange and rosemary and it's really nice it comes in this like solid brass canister so again this is something that you should totally reuse once your candles burned out um it's a nice like low temperature burning wax too and this one I haven't started burning, but I have another one that, that I was that's in my upstairs bathroom. I love this scent. Really nice. Um, and just such a great gift because like, look at it. Like it comes with a solid piece of stone. If you were to buy like a little stone bowl like this, it'd be like 50 bucks at least. Um, and this 
this all together, this whole thing is 3442. And again, it's a good size candle. It's not like a little votive. Like you could see in my hand, like it's, it's a good size. So, <clears throat> okay. Those are all the candles. Um, gosh, I think, did I present the Santorini? Sorry, I'm presenting it. Oh, heavens. <clears throat> Sorry, there was a lot to go through. Okay, I'm, we're running over, so I'm going to let y'all go. But um, I hope that was helpful just to sort of go through all the different candles. There's so many options, but at least now, like, you can kind of have a gist of what each one's vibe is, and you have a better sense for visually what they look like. <clears throat> okay, um... I ran out of time to do these, but there's this pillowcase. It's really just a cheap, cheap pillowcase set. Really nice and really cheap price. And like, pop on that because you could always use more pillowcases, I feel like, especially white ones because they get stained and stuff. So for guests and whatever, it's great to just have some extra white pill cotton pillowcases. These are really nice. Um, and then there's this um, face wash that's nice and balanced. It's alpha hydroxy acid. Okay. I am going to run. All right. I will see y'all uh, tomorrow.